Hi everyone, I'm Sky Day and here I'm today I am here today to show you how to use <clears throat> auto clickers for hero merit farming um and for fire home heroes. Um uh, so there are auto clickers. I have two of them here. One is called tapping and one is called auto clicker uh for Android. Uh, I'm just going to show Android users how to use the auto clicker here. So I have installed it and you can find it on the app store. Just let type in auto clicker for Android and it'll be like the first result or so. Just make sure it has this icon right here. Anyways, um, uh, to do the auto clicker, you want to set up your, you want to go to the main menu here. You're going to go to enable the, uh, you're going to go to multi targets and enable it. Uh, I already have some configured stuff for testing, but uh, for this purpose, the video the purpose of this video, I'm going to just set up a new configuration. And here we have a small <clears throat> menu button here, a taskbar, if you will. Um, oh, oops, sorry about that. Um, which basically shows you how to auto click and stuff. Now, before we continue anything, I will note that. Uh, the settings uh, for the uh, clicker are really fast normally. I will show you right now. Uh, what crap happened? Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to Rival Domains. We're going to uh, just set it up. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to just tell you what these buttons do. So the first button is the um, blue button, which is the play button. It, it allows you to start up the um, automations when you have all the buttons set. Your The green button is the one that has the, uh, is, where the is where you add the buttons. So um, like here. We have this blue circle with the orange number and a blue dot in the middle. It's sort of hard to see. I will move it up so you can see a little better. See how there's a blue dot there? Yeah, that's the actual pinpoint of where it's going to click. The button is just an indication of where it is, sort of, but the real button is the tiny dot in the middle. All right, so I'm going to put the first marker over here on the Rival Domains event map for Lunatic because most guides will usually require you to have <clears throat> Most guides are two turn lunatic clears We're using either two to four, like no, using three to four uh, auto clearing units and then some batteries. Okay. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> to keep moving forward, I'm going to click this just to show the steps on how to do it. Um, see how it's not touching Celeph's head? Or in this case, you don't want it to touch the. Uh, slot 2's head of sorts. So I'm going to do the second the second button. I'm going to have it to fight because you want to have it set so you can click the map then the fight button. Like so. I'm just I'm doing this manually first before actually playing it because um, that way you guys all have an understanding of how to get there. Then the third button I'm going to add is on the auto button like auto battle button right here. So there's a fourth button I'm going to add, but that's not until after the battle. I'm going to let it run. Let that go. And then we have the, here's the button. This is where the fourth button's going to come into play. I'm going to put it right here. Uh, I would recommend putting it uh, around the left of the OK button, just so it's like a little easier, so it doesn't like slot around too much. Um, and then <clears throat> I'm going to now test it. So we're going to go press OK. And it's now just going to constantly press until I have it stop. I'm going to just let this run for like maybe one or two runs just to show you how well and how efficient it can become. Um, so it's a little slow. I'm sorry about that. Um, the, the thing is, these buttons are actually moving really fast, um, but you actually want them to run a little slower, in my opinion, because um, they sometimes may, if for some reason your uh, 
app is lagging a bit or something of the sort, you may end up having an issue where it clicks the wrong app or like button or something and then some other crazy sh stuff happens. So like one of the most common mistakes is that if your phone lags at some point, the three button will click here. And if you have your, depending on where your uh, number one button is, it may go to expand barracks. I already have my barracks expanded all the way. Um, not due to this issue, though I did have it occur to me once where I lost like maybe one or two orbs, not a big deal. But you know, one or two orbs is a loss. But the point is you don't want to lose that. Um, so you just be careful. Um, and uh, anyways, moving away from that, when you have your happy medium of all your configurations, you want to click that gear button. You're gonna have, you're gonna name it. I'm just gonna leave this configured too. You can name it as Hero Merit. You can probably put it as Hero Merit Farm, Auto Battle, whatever. Um, and then you want to have it run as in, run indefinitely, so that way you have con you can run it for as long as you want um, without any trouble. And then save. And if you want to stop it, you can click that button there, and the buttons disappear, right? And then you press the X button. And then the whole thing goes away. Um, sorry, my phone lagged a bit. Um, one thing I will recommend you do is you go to your settings afterwards and you adjust your milliseconds. Uh, so instead of 100 milliseconds per click, uh, it'd be like 1000 milliseconds per click. So that way they don't go as fast. Um, uh, swipe duration, you can leave it because we're not actually swiping anything. Um, so I have it as such, it's going to be uh, 1000 milliseconds. I have it set that way on another device, an another tapping clock thing of mine because I use an I This is the app one I use called Tapping, which is an automatic clicker. It's usually available for rooted Android phones. Mine is rooted for a frame of reference, <clears throat> but that's not really important. I have my configurations set, so if I load configuration, these are all the same buttons you saw earlier um, when you go to Hero Merit Domain. The buttons are just really small, like really, really small. And I have them placed a little awkwardly because they're just that small in comparison to wherever else. They work even the same. It's just a little slower, so that way it's just more, uh, you have more control over if something happens. Um, I have it slower so that way it just, there's a little bit more control. You can have it faster, slower, however you want. I have mine slower just again, so there's control over it. Um, there's usually apps that goes on, like ads like this. Um, I don't really care about these ads, but you know, they just come and go with all the, uh, they just come and go with all these um, apps. So uh, that's how you use the, uh, like, uh, I'll show you my settings. Uh, so these are the settings I was, I was talking about. Click frequency, the same one here. Uh, the click frequency is the one that's more important. It is also shown here, if I, we go back here, click frequency, like delay and stuff. Um, wait, delay? Yeah, so you wanna have it done. So there's like, you can have the delay, the click frequency delay, it's the same thing. Basically you want to have it so they don't, you, go super fast like you saw in the beginning. If you want them to go super fast, that's fine. Just make sure that the um, your configurations are all set properly uh, or else it will get a little screwy and it can be a bit messy. <sighs> Anyways, I believe that is how you, auto I believe I've, is all I can tell you about how to auto battle, for, uh, uh, auto battle with a clicker. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to comment down below. Give the video a like or a thumbs up, <laughs> and I hope you all have a great night, okay? Goodbye.